So in today's video, consistency is going to be really important. So as we go through the rest of this registration, you'll notice that we'll be referring to other areas of the business. So maybe your business has already been established on Facebook, maybe it's been on LinkedIn, could be it's been on Yell or a checker trade. And it's important to take the established information and use that when you are completing this registration. Why? Well, because consistency is king. And as much as everything needs to be consistent, don't keep reinventing the descriptions or the photos or the keywords or the categories, because as soon as you start integrating different ideas every time you register your business, you're going to get an inconsistency which Google doesn't like. Google wants to know that you're trustworthy and that when it, when it gets the information about your business, that is consistent with what the web already knows about your business. So we're going to see the importance of consistency in those areas today. So this is the third episode in a series of episodes where we've verified the business now in previous episode two, and we now have to make decisions about what services and in fact that affects the categories. So what are we going to learn in today's video? Well, we're going to pick the exact services that your business does. So it's important to make sure that you don't just pick all the services thinking that gives you more of a chance in different arenas. It doesn't work like that. You have to actually pick the ones that are relevant to your business. So there's a reason for that, which we'll see later in a, in a further video. We're also going to look at the importance of making sure you've got the right hours. And also, how do you write a good description? How do you get the right keywords into that description too? Well, we're going to look at a starter on that, and then we'll show you another video later that will show you a bit more detail of where you can find keywords and integrate them into your business. So let's go back to our original uh, business, LaRue Window Cleaning, and let's see how we can progress this further along in its registration. So we've got the window cleaning is the main service that's offered, but actually our client also offers these services which have been suggested by Google. So just go through them with your client and just make sure that these are services they offer. And the reason this is important is if you don't offer these services and then a person contacts you because you're saying on Google that you do, then that's a really negative impact on how you're viewed. You may get a bad review for that too. So don't don't think that by claiming everything that gives you the most uh, chances of getting business because that isn't the most uh, successful way to handle customers if you say you offer something and you can't offer it. So in this case, LaRue Window Clean Services do offer these services. So that's good. So I'm going to click save. And now it's about business hours as well. So you can skip this if you don't know what your business hours are. I'm going to contact my client now. So my client uh, has 24 hours on Yell and that's what he wants to do here. So again, it's important to make sure you have consistency. So he has 24 hours here on Yell and that's what we're going to put here as well. So 24 hours on each one. So the key thing is, is just to bear in mind that people potentially could contact you uh, it's unlikely that you'll need a, an emergency uh, window cleaner, but uh, even so, um, if they're happy to take texts and uh, phone calls or uh, messages, then obviously that reflects what you're prepared to do. You can change this in the future if that's the case too. Now, when it comes to the business description, uh, this is where you get the information about the business and you've got 750 characters to fill in here. And I think it's important to put the key words that are relevant to your business. So things like gutter cleaning, window cleaning, window cleaning services, reliability, uh, those types of things you need to include in here. Now, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel because it should also be consistent with your website, with other references. Uh, let's just see what we've got written here on um, Yale. So on this part here, you need to really think about some of the services that we've looked at already. So you remember we saw gutter cleaning services, we saw uh, roof light, light services, having them cleaned. Um, so you want to bear those things in mind. You also want to bear in mind the areas you're serving. So depending on the cities, the towns nearby, you want to include those as well. So if I just, I've just written a, a few moments worth of article, let's see, that comes out of 546. Now ideally, I would try and fill it up to the 750. It's also known 
Uh, obviously check for spelling, which I'll go for in a second. But it's also known that the first 250 or so characters are the most important when it comes to how Google views it as well. So let's just go through this. So I've mentioned the name of the company right at the beginning because that's important. And also this is their kind of um, tagline. So I got that again from looking here, make your home shine. So that's the part there. And then you want to really show that you've got experience. You're trying to build trust, experience as well as important um, so that you're viewed as an authority in what you're doing. So with 12 years of experience, I mentioned there, uh, they've got a strong portfolio of returning customers. Uh, and then I move into going away from the cleaning idea and more into the area that you serve. So Bournemouth, Christchurch, and of course it's based in Southbourne. And then I then go back to some of the cleaning services, so the gutter cleaning, the power pressure washing, the roof or skylight cleaning and then what should they do so now they know you do these things they know where you're based then it's give us a call it's how they're going to look after you with the customers they you know make sure that everything's met all the needs are met and so on so there you go that's that's my suggestion there just go for a bit of a spell check So there you go, that's now completed. And as I said, you can revisit this in the future, but for now I'm gonna save that. And now they want photographs. And that's what we're gonna cover in our next tutorial. So we've almost completed the registration end of this business, but there are just a few more things we're going to need to look at. Uh, we're gonna to need to look at the photos and how they're going to be associated and of course, they're often used in the knowledge panel. So we'll come on to see the importance of selecting the right photos soon. You may have heard me mention keywords and particularly with regards to that description. So how can you find the right keywords for your business? How can you make sure that you've got the right keywords so that when you write posts and descriptions, you include the right keywords for your business there too? Well, I've got a video here that's gonna show you how to understand and find the right keywords for your business. But if you wanna continue in this series, then episode four will be here, and this is going to look at the importance of getting the right photos. So I'll see you over there.